Welcome model shipbuilders, this is Neil. And here's a video that I made showing you how to design and 3D print model ship parts. Uh, the design program that I'm using to design my parts is Tinkercad. And I'm pulling it up here and I'm gonna pull up a, uh, a model ship part that uh, was already made. Um, and you'll see it's kind of remaking it right in front of you. This is a an SC radar system, and you see all the various parts that go into making this part. Okay, and there's the final part. But what I'd like to do is show you here how to design your own part. Uh, some of the just basic simple techniques. Basically, the way Tinkercad works is you're just pulling in shapes into the work surface here. So I pulled in the cylinder, okay, and it's got some information over here, I can change the number of sides. There's 12 sides and there's 64. See how smooth it is with the 64 sides. Um, and I can basically, you know, I pull in a box here and I can uh, click on any of those corners and you get the dimensional information for the box. You can change that if you have, for example, accurate drawings with dimensions on them. You can obviously make your parts a lot easier with all that information. It just makes it so much easier. So I'm taking this box here and say, uh, I want to sh shrink it, scale it down proportionally. I just click on any of these white corners here, hold down the shift key and see how it shrinks the box. It scales the whole thing up and down. Now, if I want, I can also pull out a side and make it longer. Or I can make it taller or shorter. Um, so there's many different things you can do with this. Um, I'm going to move it alongside here, and uh, let's see, I want to, um, uh, let's combine it with, with the cylinder here, like so, and, uh, oh, okay, so we'll group it together by holding down the shift button, and then hitting the group function, and now it's all one, one item, okay? Now, I'm going to ungroup it here with that button, and I'm going to pull in a, hole or in this case a cylinder I'm going to make it 64 sides and I'm going to uh, I'm going to kind of bring it in here a little bit um, kind of manipulate it around now I want to put this hole in the center of that cylinder okay so I'm going to highlight I got the hole highlighted and I could make that hole solid or again back to a hole I want to center it within the cylinder, so I'm going to then hold down my shift key and click on the cylinder. And I'm going to hit this align button here, and I'm going to align it to the cylinder by tapping on the correct little dot there. Now I know that I got that cylinder perfectly aligned, the hole perfectly aligned within the cylinder. I'm going to group it, okay, and then that's my new cylinder with the hole in it. I'm going to group it with the box, okay. There's my part, change the color so you can see it a little better. Okay, so that's my, my ship part. So now what I need to do is, is uh, go ahead and save it within Tinkercad. I'm just gonna call it ship part. Okay, and then to get it to the printer, okay, I need to um, uh, first export it, okay, to uh, a slicing program, okay, which comes with the printer. So let me show you that. Okay, so I'm gonna take that part we just made and I'm gonna bring it into the slicing program. And here's the part, looks like a toilet paper roll holder sitting on its own, <laughs> but whatever. Anyway, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is gonna do a little bit of rotating to it because uh, these parts tend to print out better when they're rotated because what happens is, as you'll see, I'm going to raise it up here too. Um, as you'll see, when you add supports to it, I click this button here and add some auto supports to it. Um, what, what happens is if it were flat, when you start printing the part, all these supports would meet the part at the same time. And it, the printer has a tendency for some of those supports to detach from the part if you print it like that. So you want to angle your part a little bit um, uh, so that that doesn't happen. So anyway, this shows what the slicing program does. You can see that the printer is actually printing the part in this direction. As I slide it up here, you see how it's printing the supports and the part 
that's what it's doing each layer one layer at a time now it's doing it upside down but um, that's basically how it's printing the part so now the next thing we you do is um, once you have your part is you slice it and you hit this button here and uh, you slice the part and here it is slicing it it's going to take make this slice file and then you take that slice file and it says here it's going to take an hour and 18 minutes to slice that part the time it takes to slice that part is determined by the height of the part so this height this part here is not 196 scale by any means because that would be a you know a toilet paper dispenser holder that would you know probably be the size of the jelly green giant on a 96 model ship but uh, anyway um this part then uh is um, saved um in a slicing uh file and then that file is loaded onto a thumb drive and you take the thumb drive over to the printer so let's go there okay so i put the thumb drive now in the uh into the Photon S3D printer. And uh, I've actually got a part already printing. In fact, we'll zoom in on it. It's a, uh, what did I make? I'm making a, uh, um, looks like I'm making a, uh, some torpedo tubes. So you can see everything's upside down in there, but it's, it's basically suspended from that platform. Okay. And basically all it does is it dips it into the liquid resin. Okay. Shines some UV light on it while the thing's printing, okay? I don't know if that's in focus or not. And um, that, you know, cures the resin. So it just does it a layer at a time. So when that part is finished, I'll just scrape it off with a putty knife, rinse it with some alcohol, and then I'll have to trim off all those supports. So after you get the parts out of the printer and have them clean, you need to send them out in the sun to let uh, the, the extra excess resin cure. So let them sit out in the sun for a couple hours. What I do is I put them on a board and I tape them down with some double back tape because I found the, that on some parts, the, the sides can kind of peel up. So I just got to hold them down flat that way. So here's some of the parts that I've made. And again, you can see that, uh, you know, you need to make multiple parts. You can just hit copy over and over and make as many as you want with the touch of a button. So, And here's some of the parts that I've made um, for the USS Johnston. Um, and there's cable reels you've seen, some antenna, antenna bases, trash can, hoop antenna, two different types of davits, um, some floating nets, uh, 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 piping, and there's a, a flag bag with the teeth, and multi-piece fender there kind of fell over um it's a vegetable locker that's been primered uh, torpedo crane and again some more torpedo tubes anyway i've been having fun with uh printing parts i hope you do too hope you found this uh video helpful we'll see you guys at the pond